Hello and welcome to the PDGA Euro Tour. We are in March in Varashtin, Croatia, and this is the first tournament of the year. The Pro Forester presented by Latitude 64. The coverage is by More Disc Golf and we are happy to please your ears. My name is Jan Bess and this is Dave Lizard introducing the FPO players. Well, hi Jan, it's great to be back and let's see who we've got rounded up for the um, feature card. We've got Vipke Jan from Germany, one of the best players, uh, female players in Germany, rated 921. And Maria Livamayi from Estonia. I apologize for the last name. I've never met her personally, but um, we'll be corrected on that. Andrea Berniak is up third from Slovenia. She's rated at 875 and rated at 902 from Austria, Laura Bosch. And uh, let's get this thing going. Let's go. This is Latitude 64. The smallest of grains handled with the greatest passion. Always trying to improve, always trying to be better. Out of curiosity, excitement, thrill. For the player and the sport. Because we want to make disc golf awesome for you. Thank you, Latitude, for making this golf awesome for us. Um, this is hole number one, and it's awesome for the players right now. What we have, I don't know if you guys have seen the MPO cards or the MPO stuff. This is different. We have a shorter hole. There are five holes that are slightly modified. One of these holes is number one, where you can see the basket is a little shorter and it's a little easier to enter into that hook. But still, it's 165 meters, par four. Let's see if the ladies can do that. I'm pretty positive, actually. So it seems um, a little chilly and cold down there. There's no rain, but it's still um, it's still the end of winter. And uh, but the sun is shining uh, and it looks as if wind is certainly going to be a factor. So we got Vipka up first, first throw of the tournament. There we go. So she's just trying to get around the corner so she has some space to uh, get into that little dog leg to the right. And no worries, we will. We saw that the 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 camera the emotion cam is a little out of focus this will be settled during the round don't worry we have already been warned so this is the first shot by andrea and that was the longest Laura is up next and it looks as if most of the players are um, shooting out to the left so that they can have a good uh, a good sight of the basket coming in. You certainly don't want to be on the right hand side with all these trees there. Oh, she got a little unlucky, lost a few meters by hitting that sign. And they are off. So you will have some drama, you will have some beautiful shots and the drama is actually boom. Come on in. Oh, it didn't get up enough. And she's going to be left with a very long, uh, another long approach. And Vipke gets it up there. And Maria with her second shot, also with the sidearm. She's and gone out a little wide, but it's curling in nicely. A little backdoor uh, look at the uh, at the basket on this first par four. Andrea actually has just 44 kilometers uh, distance to this course, so she can well she cannot be called local, but sort of for us she is. Yeah, right. So Laura's just uh, put her third shot 
up right beside the basket, so she most probably be get, taking off with a um, par. Easy par for Andrea too. Wiebke had the run for the for the putt for the birdie, and Maria very crunched in between the bushes and everything. She didn't really have much of a view of the basket, so um, there's one. You can see Maria when she's playing; most of her discs are pink. <laughs> well, thanks for that information. Yeah, please. Yeah. All right. So barring any horrible situations, it looks as if all the uh, women have managed to uh, pull off a par on the first hole. And um, we're off to the second hole now. Yeah, let's go. Which is a little bit short, right? Uh, 85 meter par three through the tight woods. And it looks as if throwing straight is golden. It is. It's a classical straight shot, but if you miss the fairway like big, there are chances that you can reach the basket. But as we are in the forest, the pro forester, you might hear some, which is the wood. Yeah, love the wood. So it's one of those holes where if you miss really badly, uh, you may actually have a view of the basket. So you can get through the woods, but um, just with luck. Yeah. So basically what they're trying to do is uh, pipe it down the tunnel here. Vipka is still up. And that just needs to come in a little bit as she's hit the first. One of the first available trees, unfortunately, seemed to uh, come a little light out of her hands. Maria with the pure. And this is looking sweet. Oh, what a nice Anheuser forehand she had there. But she's uh, landed a little short, so she's going to have a very um, difficult putt from there. But as some wise guys or some wise players once mentioned, par is king. Oh, yeah. We don't know where this landed, but she hit the tree. Laura's taking a deep breath first. And she's pulled that off into the right, unfortunately. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, some of these players, especially Laura, who's hit so early, has a lot of work to do. The only choice she had really was to play out, and she's up again already on her third shot. It is a par three. So... Um, these are unforgiving lines. You have to hit them or struggle. Yeah. Yeah, the rough is very rough here, and um, I was a little overcompensated on the uh, Anheuser, but it was a good try. And now Lau with unfortunately her fourth shot, she's still quite away, and this is looking fine. Oh, she whizzes back past the basket, but uh, hopefully within range. Oh yeah, hopefully she'll make the putt. Actually, what you need to know maybe is that Andrea, it's her first um, game with cameras. So she might okay, be yeah, a that's, little distracted. Yeah, it's very difficult to play with cameras following your every move. Sort of some added pressure. Vipia gave that a very good run. Unfortunately, she's gone a little long. Yeah? Yeah. Andre oh, right there. Now, uh, here's a... So this is Andrea. Similar. Oh, right on top. That's but the sound you don't want to hear. Not really. No, although that is a better sound than hitting the cage below, right? Or that. Oh, that you mean? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't mind hitting the band on top. It sort of means you've had a <coughs> decent run at it. There's a solid putt, unfortunately, for bogey. Mm. Also a bogey. 
And Maria has a double. Oh, I'm no. sorry, that wasn't Maria. That was uh, Laura. And uh, easy par. Well, Maria was the only uh, par. So she Just takes the box. And speaking of boxes, Dinko and crew really like for people who came to Drava first um, or more often. The tees are so different. There's a lot of work went into these trees. And this one is actually also the same hole like the male players do. And the male competition were able to shoot uh, discs out to make a putt. I think this is too far for all of this group. So. 139 meters through the woods is uh, quite quite a lot of traveling to do. And curvaceous. I mean, this is tight. So Maria took the box for the first time. And this looks very clean if it doesn't touch anything and she's got the optimum uh, distance that is available. Wiebke taking her blue. Wiebke is um, only playing Prodigy discs for those who want to know. So this was the F2. So she's a sponsored player from Prodigy, I assume, if she's only playing Prodigy discs. In some form or other, I assume she's sponsored. Well, that's a nice shot. Laura has some strokes oh, to make up and yeah. uh, she's also given it a really good run to get out into the fairway where you need to be for the next shot. That's a good placement right where she yeah, is. Yeah, absolutely. Have another look at the tee. Were yeah. you talking about the tees or the trees? No, the tees. The tees are being, uh, have been fixed up. Yeah. yeah. And But also the, the trees have been um, manicured like Okay. For people, so they've done a lot of work on oh, the course. Oh, they they do have. It's 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 very great to see the effort they put into disc golf and developing disc golf down there in Varastin. Yeah, the Lagoda disc golf crew is really into the sport and trying to get great performance done. Yeah, so you can really see that if you're off the fairway, then you're basically in a jungle, and. Um, you can see through because it's still springtime and the uh, leaves haven't started to come out or anything, but I can imagine in the summer this course is thick, just very thick. Like, it's really hard for us. I mean, this camera, it's like we don't really know where they're going to <laughs> because we don't see anything. Yeah, it's, very, it's, it's very difficult to follow. Um, here is this, the follow -up. Holes in the middle of the woods and stuff where it's sort of, uh, especially I've never had the uh, opportunity to be there. Uh, but you have, Jan. You've been to this course. I've been to the place. But to the place. Especially this hole I've never played. Okay. Or maybe I have. Yeah. Well, it does look as if the uh, baskets are not uh, permanent, are they? Um, they? Most of them are, actually. Good run for Vipke, just put it right there for a tap-in. Yeah, tap-in par. Oof, mm. pulled that one off a little bit, but it's fine. Good enough. So yeah, again, trapped in the, um, trapped in the rough is uh, very rough on this course. So she's just managed to get out of the rough and left herself with um, a little bit of a tester. Yeah. And you know what? When you mention the rough, um, it will get worse. It will get worse. Yeah, okay. Yeah. There All are right. some places where you definitely you just, I mean, Laura already experienced it that she had to, um, yeah, just basically put it out back to the fairway on her second hole. Yeah. So. Well, we managed three pars and uh, one double bogey, unfortunately. But we have a clean card from Maria. No mistakes yet. All right. Hole number four is par three, 98 meters, 322 feet. 
down the pipe and uh, dog leg to the left, which is very um, convenient and fortunate for right-handed players. Yeah, what we what we entering now is the green, and as you can see, this is really a beautifully shaped green. Absolutely, because it's getting bigger and bigger, and yeah. just reaching it, it's it's joyful. Yeah, yeah, and that's what disc golf should be. Joyful and frustrating at the same time. What a sport! What a sport! <laughs> hey, isn't it though? Wow! It looks as if it's has gotten warmer at least for Andrea yeah well the sun is shining so once you've oh that looks beautiful for a forehand she's come up unfortunately a little bit short but she might still have a run at the basket that's uh, almost 100 meters that's a long way through the woods when it's so tight and Vipka's gone a little high but it looks super nice oh and she's put it right into the circle that's a beautiful drive for those who want to know this is her most reliable disc like the d3 uh the h3 i'm sorry of course from prodiscus did i say prodiscus yes you did i believe you meant prodigy no i mean i mean in prodigy yeah of course this is all right <clears throat> wow what a colorful sweater that's her. oh she's pulled that one off a little bit and it appears to have touched nothing but it's off to the right and uh she'll be battling with the rough yeah always a new surprise when you're in the woods so oh that was actually clearer than i thought i thought yeah she would, yeah would have been and so she's done the smart there. thing and just uh laid it up to under the basket so that she can uh, get away with her par oh good run good thank run, you right? great andrea giving us a run at the basket and Vipke also has a run at the basket there we go nice circle one putt complete first birdie of the round first birdie of the group back on par and another birdie yeah so our two 900 plus rated uh female players which are laura and Wiebke both scored a uh, birdie so dave i heard that you are not so much into rating but what does that say to you i'd say uh, i've i have proven myself wrong <laughs> because oh. uh, the two players over 900 got a birdie and the two players under 900 didn't so that's obviously a scientific um, evaluation of the system there you go we're Complete. getting we're getting into science now yeah this is hole five it's a hook to the other side hook to the right and uh, what we see here is that the basket is slightly elevated we got 105 meters it's reachable in three definitely we'll see yeah so it's a tiny little bit longer than the uh the hole just before but it does go to the right and it does go a little bit uphill so that's going to add another easy another 20 meters or 30 meters even more than you think it was and Vipka has done the smart thing and just um, pumped a straight shot right down the middle so that she'll have a view of the basket for her approach yep it's going to be a long putt maybe circle two yeah Laura is a little bouncy in her delivery I think Oh. Yeah, that went up a little too high. <clears throat> so, Maria comes back. Of course, sidearm is her force. So this is a perfect sidearm hole. If she can just send it out like that and it looks as if that disc is not coming back as much as she wanted it to. Again, the wind is a factor. Um, yeah. Especially in the woods here, it's um, obviously less windy than in the open, but the wind does tend to swirl around and uh, yeah. 
Oh, that was almost and a perfect shot. Caught a couple of uh, branches on the left-hand side, invisible branches. We all know about those. Mm. And well, what you guys don't know is that uh, the first holes are a little bit back and forth. So hole number five is actually has the same wind direction as hole number one. And yeah. Really nice approach. Really nice. Put it right into the bullseye. That'll be a, a no worries par. Get through. Oh, ah, bad kick. A little overcompensated. And I think she just landed. She's in the circle, but like there's a huge tree now between her and the um, and the basket. So we'll see how her uh, straddle putting is. Talking about straddle putting. Yeah, uh, she's just managed to get out. Okay, this is the battle for par, the straddle paddle. <laughs> the straddle paddle for straddle par. Straddle paddle, love it. There and it is. There we go. Lava. Oh, shit, nice one. Nice one from behind the tree. Just snuck it into the right hand side. Easy. Right on. Par for Maria. Still no mistakes yet. Par for Wiebke. Some English players might pronounce her name Whipkey, and she I does whip. She does whip. She yeah. has a really good whip. That's a key to her game. Yeah. Right now in the woods, I believe uh, most of the women are concentrating more on uh, precision than on uh, super far shots right now. Yeah. This is actually the last hole before we go to the more open holes. And I personally love this hole because this looks it's fantastic. also elevated, like the basket is a little down there in this uh, ditch. But it looks open on camera, but I tell you, it's not. You have to be precise. The whole course is really technical. And um, I kind of doubt that any of these uh, players can reach the, uh, the basket. <clears throat> so we will see... Um, Good placement shots, All right, I so I guess uh, they're scoring on their uh, cell phones, <clears throat> right? That's what uh, is happening now, no scorecards, just cell phone uh, online scoring, I assume. I think they have a backup. Oh, and this, this comes back. That's one of the nicest shots I've seen so far. Oh, no, oh. got hit by the last two. That's really so unfortunate. so wrong. What a rip. Beautiful. Yeah. That looked as if it would be uh, certainly pretty close. So we have a crosswind here. And oh, family yarn is complete. So what we have here is... I'd say some missed drives is what we have. Yeah. So we're watching uh, the approach shots. All right, she just puts it right down into the bullseye. Good effort. Oh. Damn, that tree just yeah. barricaded her from having a really good putt. Oh! Well, she went for it. Yeah, I really Kudos like on that. Yeah. game here. Yeah, she's really into it. Yeah, she uh, looks as if she's developed a, almost a little bit of the Paige Pierce style of holding the disc, but she doesn't do the little flip thing, but holding it up there near the forehead. Easy par. So many of the players have uh, had the chance to develop their game after watching uh, videos of the pros in the States, and um, sometimes it's noticeable that they've um, been influenced by other players and have changed up their styles or some things and that's also what makes um, so many of the players nowadays getting better and better and better and there's so many more women playing nowadays than there were 10 years ago and that is a great thing and we're going to uh, try and bring you all the Euro Tour tournaments of the FPO division this year. That's right. So the ladies are waiting for their bus to take them to hole number seven because it's quite a walk. So um, so they started way up there in the woods and they actually had to take a car down to the next tee off. Because um, it's actually quite a, quite a distance and uh, walking it would be um, ridiculous. Yeah. 
and tiring, and so they had a shuttle uh, system set up there for the players, which is nice. So talking about the hall, you wondering uh, if you're wondering why all these mattresses are there? These are the drop zones, because this is actually a tiny, tiny shot because of uh, two um, mandos. Okay. So you see the oh, I trees see. here? Yes, yes. So you gotta go left of the first one, right of the next one. And Vipka has managed to do perfect. that beautifully. Fades out to the left as expected. And she's gonna have a long putt approach. Oh, there's actually three mandos, aren't there? So basically uh, stay straight here. No cheating by going around. So. You are right. It's three mandos. And Three this drops. is the shot that's looking very, very nice. Yeah, a little short, but it's yeah, yeah, it's headwind. And as you can see on the on the right, the blue stuff there, this is called water. Water, the river, correct? The river. Yeah. So it's a lot. Uh, the wind plays much more of a factor, and she's hit an early tree. Oh, and she missed the ob, unfortunately. I mean, she missed the mando. So. Um, so again, they can't uh, really concentrate all out on power because they're uh, just trying to get through the mandos here. And uh, yeah, it's always this game between precision and power. Yeah. So she's still got quite a distance to the uh, basket. But that's part. Well, um, she's just managed to creep into circle one. And we all know those just in circle one putts are some of the most difficult no matter what level you're playing on. There you go. That's also just creeping into the circle. So I'm assuming that these pink pegs that we see on the ground, they are marking the bullseye and the circle one. Yeah. So this is a bullseye hit, but with the second shot. And Wiebke also avoids a big putt, which is good. Absolutely. Especially when there's cameras around and it's the first tournament of the year and it's a little bit cold. You, s oof. Yeah, looks like she got a little gust of wind there. But I certainly like her um, attack style. She, I haven't really seen her lay anything up. She's always gone for it, so. Um, she's playing the game. She's no playing the game. No matter what, yeah. All right. Kept it a little low. I guess she's a bit afraid of the wind. Here's another seven, eight meter putt. Uh, she just misses off to the right. That's unfortunate. And here's Vipke just outside of circ of um, Bullseye, which is about, what, four meters? Four or five meters no, right bullseye now? Bullseye is three meters, and this is probably three and a half. And All right. Should not mention, don't mention the war. <laughs> Please, don't. Right, Laura, trying to put this, dig this one straight in. There we go. Easy par. Easy is always relative, of course. Yeah. Right, a double bogey for Maria, unfortunately. And a double bogey. For Andrea. Wow. Man. This is, again, something uh, for the over 900 rated ladies and the under 900. Yeah. But um, also we saw that the rating of uh, Maria and Andrea is just one, one point difference. But let's not talk about rating. This is a really long hole. They call it the diamond hole because uh, the landing zone where you see the guy walking there is shaped like a diamond. And outside of the diamond where the basket is situated, it's hazard. Oh boy. So first you need two solid drives and then a good placement shot to make an, make a putt. And yeah, fours are not a gimme. Definitely not. No, certainly not. That's uh, 225 uh, meters. And um, that's without any obstacles or OBs. Um, two overly solid shots for the women just to even uh, get close to the basket so they're going to be laying up twice 
doing one solid drive. She, oh, she's kept it super low. She's not very happy about that. But, yeah, but uh, it, she still managed to get right. some distance, at least halfway there to the, where the uh, OB chances. starts. Yeah. And we can see all the mistletoe growing in the trees up there from the days of Asterix and Obelix. <laughs> and their uh, druid getting getifix. That's the stuff he uses. Mistletoe, that's how it grows. Oh, I never heard get fix. That sounds great. Yeah, that's that the the English. Is that the official uh, asterisk term? Yeah, yeah, in German it's Miraculix, which is actually a form of noodles here, but um, that's okay. We'll go for get fix. <clears throat> right, the ladies are off. Enough talk about other things. Yeah. Second shot. Again, they're just going to be... Um, you see the flags. It's weather hitting a stop before... I'm not sure where it is. Well, it's a little Could hard to see, and I am surprised they didn't uh, tape it off. It's also a nice little chuck. Yeah, those are the flags up there. They're just uh, so. This is decision time. No, she's just laying no, up no. again as close as she can. Yeah. Without um, testing the boundaries too much. Oof. It's, it's really strange. This hole really plays strangely because somehow it's so open, but there's always more wind. And on the left-hand side, there's this dike, and behind that is water. And this doesn't... This looks like it had too much air with the wind, and she's gone out of bounds, unfortunately. But she will be playing from there, correct? But with a stroke. Well, well outside it's... of the hazard is OB, so oh. I'm not sure where she's playing from. She's probably then playing from the hazard zone. That looks more like it. She's got a nice hyzer using the wind to bring it in. and That's not inside the diamond. That's in the hazard, yeah. Oh, boy. So it's a really, really, really tight. It looks as if they're having a hard time finding the green. Basically, it's just the green, right? So that's, uh, that's inbound. Right. Yeah, the and this has got to be good. This is looking fantastic. And that um, in. Yes. that's in. Well, that's in. well done. So, Andrea. And she's put it out to the right using the this wind to bring it in. And back. it is not coming back in. And that's also, unfortunately, OB. So they are playing from where they've landed, I do believe. Still quite a ways away, and she's uh, using her hyzer to put it right there into the bullseye. Easy does it. And it still looks cold. I mean, uh, they're still wearing gloves and stuff, so uh, the weather is, um, even though the sun is shining, it's still not springtime yet. Spring's on its way, spring's around the corner, but we're still playing in the wintertime here. Yeah, it and, is cold. Um, combination of cold and wind is really yeah it, yeah it's tough it's it tough is to tough play. so shout out to these sports girls sports i'm not sure if i'm allowed to say for fbo commentary if i say girls we decided not to say girls now i said it i'm sorry i yeah. try not to offend anyone we're just some old lads watching this with you guys. So, so far, Vipka has the cleanest scorecard. Oh, no. <clears throat> oh, I, I'm, I do apologize for that. That is... Um, well, six was the standard score. One managed to get a five. Yeah. And... We are running to the last hole on the front nine and this is also um, an interesting green because it's surrounded by hazard and given the wind conditions i doubt it that anyone will attack maybe maria because i've seen her long drive on hole number six i think she can make it with her sidearm her her power yeah but i think all other girls, all other ladies, all other female players will just lay up and go for the easy par. 
and there's the sidearm yeah and there's a stiff headwind we can see right now and so um i don't yeah expect any of the players to be uh, going for it was a mid-range yeah and she stayed just short of the hazard line which is good but it's still quite far away from the basket it is and this does not look good this seems to be carrying over to the right and um she is unfortunately ob yeah that is strange has she gone because too far the ob line is the past the path is past the path so this yeah. is kind of odd <clears throat> but maybe she managed to get into the hazard and i think i think she um, she went a little too far is was what the problem was yeah. so she's um gone up to the hazard the path itself is in bounds as long as you're not past the path. So they're all just um, throwing it out to the right. Which personally I find mm, I'm not too happy with holes like that. When I get to a tournament and you're forced to uh, just play a little chip not shot. For it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, that's, yeah, this uh, would have been a good hole for the, for the FPO to just make a shorter tee. Yeah. Because I, I actually I like the thrill of, it's a fair green, you know. Yeah, it's this absolutely. is really big enough. Yeah. Well, it looks like ten meters. Yeah, it is and, ten meters. Each and direction. hitting a ten meter uh, circle from a hundred meters away is, uh, especially in the wind and and the cold, is not easy. And Will that come back? That oh yeah. Just but it's a fine. Long putt. Yeah. yeah, she's got a nine meter putt. Andrea with the pink hat oh, oh slipped yeah out of she she uh, didn't commit to her throw and um, looks ob to me but there was no sign for it so yeah, I guess I I'm a little I think it is but it's hazard so maybe they yeah our graphic department um, they had really bad night shifts it's obviously hazard I mean, when we look at her marker. All right. And this is the first time I've seen her just lay up, which is a very smart thing to do, especially putting towards the water with a headwind like that when you've already gone OB once. It's uh, time to uh, take your medicine and... <laughs> take your medicine. All right. That's what it's called. You take your medicine, you just lay up. Don't oh. go nuts, and uh, it's it's a real term in golf. Is it? Take yeah, when you when, well, yeah Stay when calm? when you just pitch out of the rough or something, it's like you take your medicine. So they're all yeah. on downers on golf. That's not the point. Oh, <laughs> it, it's a uh, psychological medicine. Oh, yeah, where you just go, okay, okay, I can't do this anymore. I'm just gonna mess up more. Ooh. I'll Triple just play bogey. safe and. Uh, That's bitter medicine. And that yeah. is a par for Laura. All really right. Great. Yeah. So we've got to the end of uh, the round. And Laura and of Rika the front nine having the same score. This looks like something is developing here. exciting things to come here in the future of um, this year's disc golf um, right now this tournament after nine holes we have Wiebke and Laura in front with plus three stay tuned please for the back nine which will be coming soon yeah and it's way harder way harder way harder see you then